channel. Today is Foundation Friday. I am so excited. You guys know that I love testing out new foundations. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am 39 years old and I am on the hunt to try to find those really good foundations out there. I do have hyperpigmentation. I need some coverage to kind of help with that, but I don't want it to be too much. I don't want it to be cakey. I don't like my foundation to be look to look like it's sitting on top of my skin. I have wrinkles, so I don't want it settling down into my wrinkles I just want a fresh looking beautiful foundation and I found some really really good ones today I'm actually testing out this one from makeup forever it's been out for a really long time but many of you guys have recommended for me to try this one this is the ultra HD invisible cover foundation now this is $43 and it comes in 43 different shades. So there's a lot of reviews on Sephora. It looks like this is a raved one. Like a lot of people like this one. This one has 3.9 out of 5 stars and that's out of like 9,000 reviews. So that's a lot of reviews. Let me get into a little bit of information about this. Now these are all samples. So I have had samples of these. I And it was nice because I didn't have to buy a full bottle of it, especially you know, because there's a lot of times that I buy a full bottle of foundation to test it out and I don't end up liking it and sometimes I waste my money. So it was nice that I was able to have samples of this and I do think that the shade was a pretty good match. Sample that I have is in the shade Y335 and all three of them are in the Y335. So this foundation is a game-changing, top-selling foundation with buildable coverage to a natural finish and is best suited for normal to combination skin. It is medium coverage and it is a natural finish and it can be for normal dry combination and oily skin. This is the icon that changed the face of foundation. It makes skin look 100% flawless yet is 0% noticeable. The long lasting fluid has a second skin fill often cited as one of the best liquid foundations. This pro essential provides completely invisible seamless coverage. So I do have a lot to say about that and I'm excited to test this one out. I recently asked you guys in my community center which foundation you wanted me to test out first. It was between this one and the Tarte uh, Amazonian Clay. I had 52 votes and 56% of you asked for this one. So I will be doing a full review on the Tarte Amazonian Clay foundation in the near future. But this week, this is what we're testing out. So today is actually Tuesday and I'm going to wear this for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then put my video up on Friday. In the video, I will show you how I apply it. And then I will come back and give you guys like a midday check-in to see how, you know, things are going. And then at the end of the three-day trial on Thursday night, I'm going to come back and give you guys my full final thoughts. And I will definitely wear this for 12 hours every single day because I kind of feel like that's the best way to test out these foundations is to wear it as for as long as I possibly can. So it will be 12 hours or more. And so I started real early this morning and I'm probably going to wear this today for about 14 hours. So let's jump right into the video. I'm going to show you guys how I apply it and then you guys will see me in my midday check-in and then my final thoughts later on on Thursday. So I will see you guys then. So let's get into this. I haven't bought a full bottle of it, but I have three bottles of this. It has a nice little pump on it. It's a pretty decent size sample. I don't know how many mils. So this is five mils. So I actually have 15 mils of foundation right here, which is pretty awesome. All right, so I'm going to put two pumps. So that's what two pumps looks like. And as you can see, it's pretty liquidy. And I am going to put my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. So... I kind of want to add an oil, but I won't just because I just feel like my skin is so dry. So on half of the face, I'm going to use just a flat kabuki brush. And on the other half of the face, I'm going to use a sponge. So this brush is the Sigma Flat Kabuki, the F80. And then this is the Wonder Beauty Cushion Sponge. It might be a little bit too light, but I might be able to make it work. The thing that I worry about is the undertone. If the undertone is bad, then it's a bad deal. But, you know, if the shade's off by a few shades, you know, lighter or darker, I can pretty well make it work. But if the undertone is bad, it's going to be a bad situation. Okay, 
so right away, as you can see, I didn't get the best coverage from that from that application. It goes on and it dries fast, but I'm not getting the best coverage. And I just used both of those pumps, so just FYI. Okay, I definitely do not like this foundation with a brush. So let's do the other side with the sponge. And I can already tell that this is kind of a drying foundation. I should have put an oil on underneath this because this is pretty drying. I just have to use a lot of this to get the coverage. I wasn't expecting this. Okay, so it says that this is a medium coverage foundation and it's a natural finish, but I, this is not a medium coverage. Like this, you really gotta kind of build this up to get a medium coverage. But I feel like I just have to keep like packing it on to get a medium coverage. So right off the bat, I'm not getting a medium coverage situation. This is definitely a light coverage and you have to build it to a medium and you gotta keep kind of using a lot of the product to get it to build to a medium. So I'm actually at six pumps. This is my sixth pump. And I feel like I'm still trying to build the coverage. The brush, I don't recommend this with the brush. Now, if you're somebody that likes light coverage, I would totally use the brush. But if you need more coverage like I do, the brush is not gonna cut it. It says it's a natural finish. It feels a little bit mattifying. And it, it, maybe it's just because I am so crazy dry right now. I, I don't know, but I don't love this foundation right now. I feel like I've kind of got this to the best that I'm gonna get it as far as coverage wise. I feel like if I keep applying more and more and more, it's just not gonna be the best. I feel like it's just gonna start getting cakey and not, it's gonna sit on top of the skin versus kind of going down in and just being very pretty. I don't like my foundation sitting on my skin. Right now it is 9.35 a.m. on Tuesday, December 18th. It's today's my grandma's birthday, I got a collar. So this is what it's looking like right now. It dries down and I don't like the way it looks over my wrinkles and it just kind of feels very drying. I definitely should have probably used a oil under this because right now I'm so crazy dry that I can already tell this is gonna be an issue for me all day, but I don't love the way this looks. And maybe once I get powders on and maybe put some setting spray, I will be honest with you though, I'm definitely gonna have to use a very dewy setting spray today. I'm gonna have to, I don't really have a choice because this is this is like sucking my skin. It's like a, it like really sucks in my skin. Probably long wearing because it doesn't feel tacky anymore, but it doesn't feel hydrating either. So I think that's the thing that I love about the Smashbox the 12 hour hydrating foundation. This one dries down and it's long wearing, but I don't feel like it sucks all of the oils out of my skin. It keeps, it maintains my oil production and it like allows my skin to breathe without like sucking it dry. And I feel like this is not allowing my skin to breathe at all. In order for me to make this work, I'm probably gonna have to use my Tatcha, this is the, uh, Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I'll probably spray it on my face and then pack it in with a sponge just so that it's like pressed in and I can get some hydration because this is like probably one of the drier foundations that I've tried in a really long time. I don't love the fact that I had to build up the coverage because I just, I still feel like, I still feel like I put a lot on. I mean, I, I did six pumps. I mean, they're gone, but I feel like it's not there, like I don't know where those six pumps are. Right now, I kind of feel like this foundation is just sucking my skin dry and I had to put way too much on for coverage and right now I'm not loving this foundation. So that's where we're at today. I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here and I will see you guys in a few hours. So I wanna show you guys what this looks like. It's around 4.30 in the afternoon. So I've had it on for what, seven hours now? And okay, so I have had to put on my Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist because I was so dry that I couldn't handle it. It was driving me absolutely nuts. So I am starting to get a little bit dewy, which I love because I need the hydration right now. I am so dry. 
in the description it says that this is formula this is formulated for those of you out there that have normal and combination skin and I 100% agree with that statement if you have dry skin I would probably stay far away from this unless you have a really really good dewy setting spray now I also love this one from Catrice this is the prime and fine dewy glow fixing spray the only thing I recommend when you're using this is to spray it like far from your face don't go kind of up close with the Tatcha, you kind of have to do that because the mister is so tiny on it. But with this one, it's a direct shot. So I recommend kind of being as far, you know, like arm, arm length away from your face. But let's get into how I'm feeling about it right now. Now, I do think that the shade match was really good. When I first put it on, it was a little bit light. But then as I put my bronzers and blush and stuff like that on, it turned out really, really pretty. And I'm actually liking the way it looks. Um, it does crease because it is kind of like a invisible type foundation and I had to put a lot on to build up to this coverage which I don't love that but I don't I mean you know but especially for the price but it is what it is if you you know if you guys don't need as much coverage as I do then it will probably be okay for you but for someone like me that needs all that coverage uh, it was not the it wasn't my favorite but I, I don't mind the way this is looking right now. This doesn't look too bad. It looks pretty natural. When it says it's invisible, it kind of is. It kind of has that invisible look where you know that person's wearing foundation, but you really can't see it. It's kind of that situation. Now, let me just say, though, I hated it before I put on my touch of doing this. I did not like the way this looked. It felt so dry that I felt like my skin was just gonna crack off. If you have combination skin, this might be your best friend. And I could see how people with combo skin would love this. Oily skin, you might like this too. This might be something that you like because it doesn't feel like it wants to budge. I'm gonna play around with it and see if I can fix the coverage situation because that's probably the thing that I don't like about this foundation. Everything else I'm like, yeah, it's okay, it's good. Is it my favorite? No, just because I do have to have a setting spray on there to make it work for me, especially because I'm so dry. If I was normal right now, and if it was in the middle of the summer, I might love this. You know, every we change from, I don't know if you guys are like that, but I have like a winter foundation and I have a summer foundation. And there's foundations that I love in the summer that I could never wear in the winter and then vice versa. So right now I am needing that hydration. I'm needing that, give me, give me that hydration. I, my skin needs it so much. This foundation doesn't give that to me. So that's probably why I'm not loving it right now. If I put this on in like June or July, I would probably love the way this looks. So I went ahead and pulled you closer, but I don't know. I like the way this looks. I mean, I do. I like it. It does look pretty natural. I don't love the way it's looking over my nose, and that's just because I kind of feel like I've lost a lot of coverage on my nose, and I really haven't done anything yet, but... Cause, and it's only been on for seven hours. And for the fact that I had to I had to work so hard to get the coverage, that's kind of a bummer. So that's where we're at now. I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here and I will see you guys on Thursday night and give you my full final thoughts. And yeah, so that's where we're at and I will see you Thursday. Okay, everyone, I am back. It is Thursday night and it is just about 11 o'clock. I need to get my final thoughts in so I can finish editing the video and have it up tomorrow. I've got my tea in hand because I'm just freezing. I've got a blanket wrapped around me. I'm so cold. I'm so cold. Okay, so let's get into this foundation. Oh, everything went downhill. And as you can see, this is the situation. So this foundation is breaking me out, which is such a bummer, you guys. I haven't had a breakout in a while and it sucks. <laughs> I started noticing it this morning and it is what it is. So after wearing it for two days, um, it's breaking me out. So there must be, you know, some sort of an ingredient in here that just doesn't work well with my skin. As some of you guys know, I suffer from adult acne. So there are certain ingredients in foundations that will break me out so far. Like I love the Smashbox Studio skin. Oh my gosh, I love this so much, but it breaks me out. I can only wear this like once every couple weeks and it stinks really bad. And 
I also love the one from It Cosmetics. I like the matte one from It Cosmetics, but the SPF in the It Cosmetics products just break me out crazy bad. So there is definitely something in this foundation that breaks me out. I don't know what it is. I still, now that I'm starting to test all these foundations out, and now I kind of, you know, have narrowed it down to three foundations that break me out. Now I'm going to kind of go through the ingredients and see if there's like a common, you know, denominator there. I don't know. I need to figure it out. But let's talk about the foundation. I don't love this foundation, you guys. I kind of feel like it just is not a good one for me. The coverage situation is really, really bad. And that's what I that's probably the thing that I least like about it is I have to apply so much to get medium coverage, and I don't like that. So I kind of feel like I have to keep packing it on to get something. So the first day I applied this, I used my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base, but then throughout the day, I had to spray on the Tatcha Dewy Mist to give me some kind of dewiness because it was so dry. This foundation is a very drying type foundation. But yesterday, I used an oil underneath this. As long as I used an oil under it, I didn't have to put the Tatcha Dewy Mist over top. And it's kind of allowed my skin to not be so mattifying, not so dry. You know, today I didn't, I did the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Face Base and then I did the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Now I love this because, I mean, it is my favorite product of all time. It kind of gave the life to the skin. Let me, let me say this. This foundation almost makes my skin look dead-like. Like, it kind of just gives me a very like dry and gross appearance. But once I put something hydrating over it, it's fine. I cannot wear this foundation alone. I have to wear it with something. And like I said in my midday chicken a couple days ago, I think I said it, I can't remember. But if, I, you know, this might be a foundation that I would love during the summer. It's just definitely not a winter foundation for me right now because I'm so dry. For me right now, on a scale from one to five, I would give this foundation like a two because the last three days, I've just not loved the way my skin looks. I just don't love it. Like I went and got my nails done yesterday and you know, my nail girl was like, are you doing, are you wearing a different foundation? Cause I don't love the way it looks on your skin. She knew right away that there was something different because she always compliments me on my skin and she's always like, oh my gosh, I wish I had your skin. It's so glowy and so, and, and yesterday she could tell that there was just something not right and she didn't love the way it looked on my face. And so for me, I think this is just a foundation that's a hard pass. If you have this foundation and you love it, then obviously you have the right skin that just works so well with this foundation. Foundation is all based on our skin and we all have different skin. And so just because I don't like something doesn't mean that everybody else is not gonna like it. I have a certain type of foundation that I need and you know, I can't just wear any old foundation. Like when I was in my 20s and like mid 20s, I could wear tons of different foundations, but now I can't. I have to be very, very selective. So this one's just a hard pass. And the real, the good thing about it is I didn't have to buy it. So I'm so, so glad that I didn't have to buy a full size. I had a sample of it here. I was able to give it a really good test. And the coverage situation, like if you guys have this foundation and you love it, let us know in the comments down below how you get and achieve the coverage because I've tried everything. So the first day I used a flat kabuki brush and I couldn't get it to do anything. Like I, I, you could see the difference between the sponge side and the brush side. Yesterday I went in with this brush from Luxie, which is not like a flat kabuki. It's just more of like a foundation, like packing brush. This brush did not work with that foundation. It didn't, it didn't pack the coverage on. I have to use a ton of this. Now here's the other side of it. These pumps might not be a normal foundation pump too. So when I say I use six pumps, that might be six pumps from a sample, not necessarily from the real bottle. I don't know if the pumps are different because I don't have a bottle to compare it, but I have to use a lot of this to even make it work. Today, all I did was just take a sponge and I just packed it on with my sponge because that was the only way I could make this foundation work and give me the most coverage. I'm gonna go ahead and pull you guys closer so you guys can see what this looks like because it's been on for, what, 13 hours now? 
because I apply my foundations between 9.30 and 10 o'clock every morning. That's my routine. I stick to it. That's just who I am, you guys. I'm a ritual person. So I kind of can say, okay, at the latest was 10 o'clock this morning when I applied this. As you can see, this is going to be a monster. I'm not happy about it. I got a couple right below it, and then this little sucker, it really sucks. You guys, I hate having adult acne, but um, as you can see, like, you know, the forehead looks pretty good. I'm looking pretty dewy, actually. You can see that I just don't have much coverage up here on my forehead, which kind of stinks, but I hate the way it looks over my wrinkles. I just don't love this foundation. It's just not... I mean, you can see I got a major crease right here around my nose. Yeah, I'm just not loving this. I just don't like, it almost makes, it almost ages me when I wear it. And I don't like that. I mean, who wants to look older? Come on, we're trying to look younger here. All this work and all these fancy products we're getting, and that's to try to make us look younger, not older. So I'm not a fan of this one. This one's a hard pass. And I also have something in my eye. Can you guys see this little ridge? Is it just me? Let me know in the comments down below because it's driving me crazy. I've had it for like a month. Now, every time I try to do my eyeshadow, especially if I wear any type of shimmer in the crease, I have this little ridge right here and I don't know what the hell it is. But I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, maybe, I don't know, but I'm a hot mess. I am a hot mess today. Anyway, so, I mean, as you can see, I have no coverage here. Like, all that coverage around my texture is gone. And I have foundations that last a lot longer, and this one just didn't. I'm not a fan of it. So sadly, two weeks in a row, I've had two foundations that I'm not a fan of. But next week, we're going to be testing out the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. So many of you guys have asked me to test that one out. And that one I have not tested. I've not used it. So I'm really excited to play around with it and see, you know, how it works and how it performs. So look forward to that next Friday. I'm so tired. I don't even know what my name is. I've recorded so many videos. I'm trying to do a bunch of pre-recording because I know the holidays are coming coming up and you know how the holidays are just exhausting it's it almost takes the fun out of it because you're just so damn tired by the time Christmas comes you're like oh my gosh I'm exhausted it's it's crazy anyways so that is what I have for you guys today thank you guys so much for hanging out with me I hope you guys enjoyed this foundation Friday video if you did please give it a thumbs up thank you guys again for all the love that you guys show me in my channel you have no idea how much it means to me and I really hope you you guys have a fantastic weekend filled with love, happiness, and joy. I will see you all tomorrow, and I love you guys so much. Bye!